Yo, what's going on everybody, it's a boy here today, I'm gonna show you how to unflock your aim, yes, you heard me correct. There are so many videos out there, like guides and stuff, where people are so broad when it comes to aim and how to get better. I wanna specify for each one of you how to actually get better. Like, it's not only, hey, aim at head level, cross her placement. Like, you know, those are so basic and, and I'm so tired of watching those. Like, there's some really good ones. Like, there's this video from, I don't know his name, but he was talking about Premi and his shooting style that is super good. I suggest you guys to watch that. I'm going to leave it in the description. But there's a few things that if you were willing to become a professional player, you got to do. There's there's not a single specific routine that's going to make your aim incredible. Other than you got to be disciplined and do it every single day for at least an hour. That's it right so you woke up one hour training your aim then you do whatever you want like watching demos or watching like vods and stuff before going to bed another hour is there people that do this are you in the 0.01 percent of the people that are going to do this yes or no that's what you got to ask you yourself now if you're just a casual player just want to get a little better to play with your friends this video will also help you now explain why let's get started when it comes to fights like gunfights right why do everyone comes here and shoot a boss like this and think they're gonna get better like you can stay here for one hour shooting boss like this but you're, and you're not gonna get better right because at the end of the day the fights that happen in the game are mid to long range so instead of like sitting over there start coming down here and aiming a little bit like from further away you know unfortunately valorant doesn't really have a good training system like cs has for example but which is a shame like it's so easy to make it like you know make like a panel where you can add bots and and there's unlimited spray space over there like it's so like they're so lazy like right it's so it makes me ugh. it's so disgusting which makes our life harder right we gotta be creative when it comes to training in this game so to start being creative the best thing you can do right now is if you want to practice like long range like try to be here you know and try to like shoot bots like walking around and stuff and see how like if you aim at exactly this is another topic that i want to get into if you aim exactly at high level when you're like super far away you're gonna miss because there's rng like if you guys didn't know about this some of you guys probably know already but if you aim exactly at the center over there and not even move your mouse and click and click again and again you can see that all the shots have an rng and they're further away it is from you the bigger this rng is right look at this see that which means that you're gonna miss even though your aim is exactly on the enemy's head which sucks which means that you need to adapt and when it comes to adapt whenever you the further you are from the target the lower your crosshair needs to be related to that target so from this distance, I will shoot at the neck, right? So neck shots over here, only neck shots. Neck, 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 neck. And we go to the head. From this distance over here, way back here, I will try to aim for the chest. So look at this, I'm getting head shots, but I'm aiming at the chest. See this? See this? This is a thing that people, I don't, I don't really saw many people talking about it, but trust me those radiance that you play against and they destroy you they know this okay so the further away the target is from you the lower you gotta aim specifically if you spray if you burst my style of gameplay i like to like two tap so one one and then two tap again so one one two tap one one two tap so one tap one tap two tap 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 the this is the way i like to play it doesn't mean that it's the most optimal thing it's just the way i like but with this you can also implement some stuff like the crouching that premi does which is the one one and then whenever you're gonna shoot you crouch a little bit but don't crouch until the very end just crouch halfway over there so instead of going all the way down you're gonna go halfway 
So you're gonna shoot halfway like this. One, one, halfway, 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 halfway. You know, and this is gonna keep you're gonna keep moving, kind of, and it's gonna make it harder for the enemy to hit you. That's what I'm trying to say. So those few things that we talked right now. If you implement this in your daily gaming routine, have a routine, go to Kovex, and I don't know if you have Kovex or not, but it's by far the best software. I'm not even sponsored by them, but go to Kovex, download Kovex, go to the online playlists, and I tailor made a playlist for Valorant that is by far the best playlist you're gonna find. If you do that playlist every single day and your aim doesn't become top notch, I don't know what else to do like I, I i punch my monitor and and make a video out of it like it's literally impossible like if you do it every single day you're gonna become better at the game and i'm not gaining nothing from it i'm not a sponsor from Kovacs or anything i'm just telling you guys the truth and the way it is because i've been liking uploading so i just want to give you guys a good video you know something something good that's gonna help you guys out and the last thing that i want to talk about is this false ego confidence that many people have imagine a person that just got immortal i don't care if you're a girl guy trans i don't care who you are you just got immortal right you think in the top of the planet you think you're like damn i got immortal i'm, I'm part of the 0.5 percent or four percent of the players let's go why so many players create this huge ego out of being in a rank in a game it doesn't really mean anything. Being an immortal player, or even immortal tree, or even radiant nowadays, it doesn't really mean much. It just means that you understand the basis of the game and you play a lot. Like you have a lot of time in your day to like play the game. So when it comes to ego, is one thing that if you want to become a professional player, you gotta keep it aside. There's ego for players. Like if you really want to become good, it's gonna help you out there's something that ego help you all because you're going to train so much you need to like be at your best and stuff but when it comes to be part of the team specifically to valorant if you have really big ego it's just going to harm you you're not going to get nowhere unfortunately right and it is because of the way people are so sensitive around uh like nowadays overall a lot of people are sensitive and if you're egotistical, nobody will like you and nobody will understand you. Nobody will understand. Sometimes the ego is good. Sometimes you're like, you really want to win. So you really want to practice. One example that I always like to use is Imperial Hall. Uh, I used to play Apex and he was like, he used to argue so much with his teammates, but these arguments lead him to have many victories. Like he's like the, the biggest winner probably in Apex so there's good ego and there's bad ego right bad ego is when you are being the annoying player not talking with no one oh let's do this right fuck this fucking shitty strat <laughs> let me do it whatever you know this is bad ego now good ego is when you're checking your teammates yo did you practice today did you do your aim routine today watch the vods okay let's watch the vods together let's see what we can improve this is for people that want you to become pro right now, if you just want to be a casual player that plays with friends, but you're still stomping them, just practice your aim like 30, 20 minutes a day. That's it. With the routine or like, don't don't come here and put hard bots and start flicking all over the place. This is not going to help you, right? Try to do things that you do when you're in a fight in the game. So what, what, what do you normally do when you're fighting? Some people, they panic when you they see someone and do this. Insta crouch and spray, right? Some people, they're more disciplined, so they tend to do two, 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 like two shots like this, right? Some people like to strafe and shoot, so a little bit faster strafe, faster pace, like this. Some people like to do this. So there's many ways to implement, and some people like to implement both. The one taps, one, one, two, one, one, with the crouch, like prime preemie does. So you need to find your balance in the way you like to play. Because at the end of the day, if you find this and have a consistent strategy of over gameplay and analyze yourself playing, you're going to become way more consistent overall in all aspects of the game. Of course, you need to still understand how to use your utilities, how to dodge a bunch of abilities getting thrown at you, and you're not going to be able to see or hear anything because unfortunately, just the way the game is. 
But if you understand the basics that I'm telling you, I promise you, you get at least your Immortal plus like Immortal 2 or 3, 1000%. Because this game is not this complicated. It's a bunch of people playing against each other and nobody's a Superman or an aimbot or anything like this. You can see some highlights here and there, they're cool. But trust me, the majority of people that upload highlights, it take them a while to get those cool kills. And they're trying to go for cool kills, which is the difference between a content creator and a professional player. Professional players, they don't care about how cool the kill gonna look. They care about optimizing their gameplay to get a frag and pretty much save themselves. That way they have the, the numbers advantage, right? So that's pretty much what I have to say in this video. I think this video might open some eyes uh i've talked with one of the people that i used to coach and he told me that it really did help him when i when i talked to him about this and i think it's something that i don't see many people talking you know um probably a boring video for some people that have like tiktok brain uh but i think if you are watching this until now and you want to become a pro you are in the paths because for me to learn all of this it took me a while you know um and it does help it does does help and i hope you help you okay much love i'm sorry for liking an upload gotta figure out some stuff about stuff you know you know what it is uh much love see you guys next one peace out